Well, I have an Opti Power Supply PS500 that you know requires two batteries. These are going to be five ampere hour batteries instead of the 4.5. They're a little more powerful. But before I put them in the um, the thing is, what's good about this power supply, power power backup supply for your computer, it's pure sine wave. So in other words, say for instance I'm running my generator and I'm inputting it into the power supply, what comes out of the power supply is pure sine wave, which is a good consideration because say I need to use this in conjunction with other battery, other power backup that uses modified sine wave, if I plug in my other power source that's producing modified sine wave, then plug that into the Opti 500 PS 500 power supply, what comes out of it is pure sine wave, then this can be plugged into it and this can do its magic on recharging, rejuvenating batteries. So in this case, um, we're going to be setting it on number six, which is, uh, that's on one, two, three, four, five, six. Already connected, you want to connect these first, turn it on, and you got the red light. When the green light comes on, it's fully charged. You're going to do both of them before I actually put them in the device. But um, I'm really, 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 really sold on this damn thing. It's amazing. This is the Bedini Renaissance battery charger rejuvenator all purpose. Goes from 1.2 volts to 24 volts. I've been using it like crazy. It's It gets. I noticed even on the power zapper devices I have um, that I'm using, I'll show you what they are. Yeah, these are my power zapper device. I use the uh, 9.6 volt rechargeable batteries in there. You probably see the green light going off in here. Th these work extremely long since I've been using a recharger on that. I mean, it's fantastic. Much more hours, many more hours out of the getting device out of this device than normally. Um, what I feel is that I, I'm so sold on this that I'm actually going to get a cordless drill. I'm getting all brand new batteries, uh, Tenergy batteries. Uh, nickel cadmium for flashlights. I got 12 and a dozen of those coming D cells. Um, because once I buy those, and if I use this charger, I'll never have to buy batteries again. Period. Um, that's really what it comes down to. Because you will get the thousand recharge cycles out of it. Also, it's charging up batteries to even a, a little higher voltage, a little higher capacity, very safely. Um, so you got more power right from the get-go with the chargeable, rechargeable battery, plus I get the kind that doesn't uh, have, um, you know, they lose charge when they sit around. I got those kind of nickel cadmium. So anyway, um, can't say enough about this. So this is going on my Opti 500 power supply. Um, very handy to have because it puts out a pure sine wave current. And if you have some sensitive electronic equipment that you're running off generators or something like that, if you plug your generator you plug your sine wave, pure sine wave backup power into the generator. What comes out of that pure sine wave power supply, backup power supply, is pure sine wave, right? And then you can use something like this. You can't run this off a freaking generator that's modified sine wave. So that's another thing. So I want to have the batteries in it all good to go. It also gives me a little more power if... You know, I need to recharge cell phones, a regular phone, you know, all this type of stuff. It's small portable devices. Having that, you know, two battery backup um, is very good to have on hand. It's a, it's a great emergency device. And to me, I think this is considered a survival device because when you charge these batteries up with this, they last much, 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 much longer. They do. I mean, I, I, that's what I've been experiencing with this, with these power zapper. But, it, you know, it's got extremely good life on it now extremely good life um, it's noticeable I mean maybe it's not like triple or something but it's definitely noticeable it's something I noticed uh, they've been running for days and I use them like eight hours a day and they freaking jeez I was so surprised so I will probably get the thousand recharges out of these batteries too that they claim when you buy rechargeables a lot of times they don't do that as long as you're buying some quality stuff you probably get the thousand recharges so yeah I can't say enough about this damn thing it's great Okay, so on these batteries, these are taped together, and it made this tape so you can pull them out. Otherwise, you, if they get stuck in there, like, see how these bulged out? Oh, man. Man, they're messed up. So I charged them up pretty good. Um, you got to put this jumper cable on here right now. Get that on there. And uh, it's simple to install, but you know what's cool about this? It's pure sine wave coming out of this bad boy, man. 
that's what's cool about it pure sine wave so you know that's one sometimes you got to have that for some of your electronic components and uh, if you run it on a battery backup you run it on a generator power if you plug this thing into the generator it's putting out modified modified sine wave and what comes out of this opti ups 500 it's pure sine wave and that, that's what you need sometimes for certain things yeah she's working i had a hit the reset switch on it a couple times you see all the leds on it i didn't put the cover on it yet but uh she's working man so probably gonna blow that dust out here a little bit get the vacuum cleaner man a lot of dust in there that's not too good for electric electronics i tell you that right now uh having a lot of dust <laughs> but yeah it's i always like this thing but i think uh i think some serious lightning smacked into this because at one time i had a I had a, there's a reset switch in the back here, but everything's working because I was trying out my little uh, pyramid lamp that's plugged into here. See if I unplug it, it goes off, and I plug it back in, it's on. And if I unplug this, like electricity's off, yeah, yeah it's working. It's on battery power. So, which is cool because if I got to get my cell phone charged up, um, and I want to start my generator up. Plug it back in. Boop. Click that. Yeah, it did its thing. Because with those two batteries in there, which are pretty good size, they're a little bit stronger than the originals. Um, uh, I could, uh, you know, if I had to, like, say, plug my cell phone in or something, yeah, beep for a while. But, uh, man, I could charge up my cell phone a gazillion times with this damn thing. And again, you know, if I need to charge my laptops up, hey, no problem. You know, this thing was not too great for, I think I get uh, 20 minutes for a full-size computer, but with a laptop, especially the little laptops, man, I get loads of freaking time out of this damn thing. That's why I wanted this to be um, good to go. And also want to show you, I'm like, hey, Rocky, how you doing, buddy? Huh? You wondering? Do you stick your nose on there and go, bzz? <laughs> Better shut it off. <laughs> yeah, so here's the other guy. Right, Goldie? Mr. Camera Shy? Huh? Huh? Anyway, I don't even know how to remember. I don't even remember how to work this thing, to tell you the truth, but um, I was trying to see if the Bedini charger would fix those batteries, but I saw obviously they were damaged. They were blown up. So I gotta remember how to work this thing. <laughs> That's switching on to something. I don't know. I forgot. I got to get the instructions out of it. But get all the damn dust out of it. But it's good to have something like this because, like I said, if you got a, if you have a generator, it's not going to put out pure sine wave. But if you have a generator going into this thing, that's plugged in. Instead of being like right now, I have it plugged into the wall outlet. If you have it plugged into the generator, it'll go through here, and what comes out of here. Uh, which you plug into the back, like this is plugged into the generator, say, right here. What comes out of here is pure sine wave. And there's some things that need pure sine wave. For instance, that thing, the Bedini charger. And uh, that's my generator, it's one of them. But, uh, yeah, if you're putting out power on this thing, it's going to only put out modified sine wave. So, that's the way around it, man. That's the way around it. you got to have some good, you got to have a good uh, battery back. UPS power supply, uninterrupted power supply, that puts out pure sine wave. And it costs a little more money, but uh, they're worth it.